First thing we'll do is to add some oil to the hot pan, about four tablespoons of oil. We'll test to see if the oil is hot. I've dropped a piece of onion into the hot oil and it's bubbling. We'll wait until it gets brown and then we'll add the okra. I'll spread it out in the pan and I like adding the okra first because the onion will add moisture to the dish and the okra will take a much longer time to become brown or fry. The heat is on medium. And I'll just let it fry there for about five minutes or until the bottom is golden brown. I've turned the pan because this area was getting brown and this area wasn't. So now I'm allowing that area to brown. And we're not stirring a lot because that will create moisture. And it will steam instead of fry or crisp. It's been about three minutes. I'm going to check the nice brown. Now I'm going to add the onion, garlic and hot pepper.
I'm adding the onion and the garlic and hot pepper now because I didn't want it to burn. It's a medium heat. Already have a little bit of lovely color there. I love crispy, crunchy things. Now I'm going to add a sprinkle of salt. That's about three quarter teaspoons. I'll taste it later on. Let's see if there's any browning on the other side. Yep. Lovely browning. Mix the salt in. And if you don't use a non-stick pan, this can be quite difficult and take a very long time to complete. But I kind of found the perfect pan for this. My daughter picked it up at Target. And I love using it for pancakes and, and this. It needs a little more salt. So I'm adding the rest of the teaspoon of salt. So that's a total of one teaspoon. I'm going to let it try to get some more color. A little more sprinkle of salt. Salt really brings out the flavors, makes it come alive. I'm going to give it another two minutes and then I'll take it off. And you may like it this color so you can take it off now. Or you may like it more dark, just continue to cook it a little longer. Okay, I'll turn off the heat. It took almost ten minutes. Maybe not so much, most likely because of this pan and because it's an outdoor stove and the heat is much higher. So I'll remove it from the heat source to stop it from cooking and it will continue to crisp and dehydrate in this pan. So I'm going to leave it in the pan because I like it really crisp. And that's it, fried okra, so simple and delicious. You can have it with sada roti or rice and dal or paratha, or as a side dish. It's one of my favorite things to eat. It's one of my favorite vegetables. And that's it. Hope you enjoy it. I'm going to give it a taste so you can hear the crunch. Mmm, it's so delicious. I can pick all these off and eat it right here. Crispy fried okra. Thank you so much for watching till the end, my friends. Please like, share, and subscribe if you wish to see more. And do follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, be safe, cook, share, and love. Bye-bye.